welcome back students let's summarize the today's content shortly our today's first point was fundamental quantities units of the quantities length and time need to be standardized such quantities are called fundamental quantities and their units are called standard units a standard fundamental unit must be available to all and it must not be variable what does word variable mean variable means it has to remain same for all it should not change it must not be variable means it should not change for example we consider 1 second or we consider 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds so in america also 1 minute should be equal to 60 second that means it is not variable it is unique for all it is standardized international system of units an international system of units based on seven fundamental units called the system international shortly it is also called as si is currently used all over the world it is also called the metric system length is measured in meters mass is measured in kilograms and time is measured in seconds these are the si units of length mass and time meters is represented in the letter m kilogram is represented in the letter kg and of course second represents s what are standards of the fundamental quantities there are few things kept in international bureau of weights and measures at paris one of that object is 1 kg it shows 1 kg is equal to 1000 g what is 1 km 1 km is 1000 meters and what are times time 24 hours makes a complete day 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes and 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute there are few images shown on page number 44 one hand span two glasses half half of milk two scales and a weighing balance why are this needed people can measure with the help of these such measurements but are they standardized few are standardized but few are not glass is not standardized hand span is not standardized whereas a scale is standardized because measurement shown on the scale will be equal all over the world importance of accurate measurement why is accurate measurement important there are few things which are very expensive in the market examples like gold silver diamond platinum and so on if you by mistakenly give a wrong measurement and sell a particular item to your customer you will be completely in loss so many things can be done in wrong way also due to the misuse of measurement that is why it is important for measurement to be accurate major causes of errors in measurement children have you ever experienced if you go to a petrol pump and you ask the person to fill 1 liter of petrol sometimes it comes little bit less sometimes it can come little bit more also that are the major errors in the measurement 
for 1 liter of petrol you don't need to worry much but if a shopkeeper sells 1000 liter of petrol what will be his condition if he sells with wrong measurement and the more amount of petrol he sells in a less rate he will be in loss so that are the major causes of errors in measurements to avoid these major causes you have to use a proper measurement tool all your tools used for measuring should be accurate you have to buy a fresh measuring tool which should show you an accurate measurement it should be with a standard seal corrected cross checked by the standard governmental authorized companies this is how you can avoid the errors in measurements students today we have covered this lesson about measurements i hope you all have understood the lesson thank you